Here's a fun and easy way to make a pencil sketch effect just like this. I made it a little bit darker just because I want to this time around and I did a little fancy trick for that. And I think it gives a pretty nice clean effect in here. Hi, I'm George. And if you're new to Photoshop Elements, you probably should take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. It teaches all the tools, menus, panels, all that stuff. Okay, let's take a look at this and see how we do this. We'll start off here with just our straight image. And as always, right click over here, it says background and duplicate that layer. There we go, and we'll hide that original. Now I'm doing two different pencil techniques here and then combining the two into our final version. First one's real easy. Go to Guided Edit, go into the black and white section. Now I'm in Photoshop Elements 2025 and each version they seem to move these things around a little bit. So if yours is not in the exact same spot mine is, don't worry about that. You're looking for the one that says Line Drawing. Click on that one and then click on Pencil Sketch Effect right here. And that's it. Don't touch anything else. That's all you need to do. Come down and click on Next and in Advanced. And we're back over here. I'm just going to name this one Guided Edit. There we are. We can hide this working layer that came in with that as well. So here's our first guided edit. Let's just hide that one. Let's now take our background copy and push it up to the top. There we go. We'll work on this now. And our first step here is just to remove the color. Now there are different ways of doing this. The one that I happen to like for this particular project is going up to Enhance, come down to Adjust Color, and Remove Color. And that does a real nice black and white. But other techniques will work out fine as well. You have a couple of options up here. You have Convert to Black and White. You can also go into Hue Saturation and remove your color that way. Just remove the saturation. So different ways, they'll all work. Let's now make a duplicate of this layer. Right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. And then go up here to Blend Modes and come down to Color Dodge. Now here's where the fun part of this comes in. Go up to Filter, come down to Adjustments and Invert. And we're making a negative out of that one. And notice what happens, it simply hides that layer below because it's a straight negative. Now if we do a little trick on this, we can bring our image back again as a pencil sketch. Go up to Filter, come down to Blur. You want the Gaussian Blur right there. And there's zero or almost zero blur. Just bring your blur up a little bit. And you can choose exactly how much of a pencil sketch you want with this one. A little lower, it's lighter, has more of a pencil look to it, kind of a soft pencil look. A little higher, it gets darker, more like a photograph in there. I think somewhere around seven and a half or seven is pretty good for this particular project. I like that, choose OK. So here's our second pencil sketch version. Let's now do an adjustment layer on this. Go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and you want Levels right there. Don't check that checkbox, choose OK. And we'll darken our darks down a bit. That's a left slider, bring it over just a little ways, maybe somewhere around 50 or so in here somewhere. That's pretty good. Just darkens and richens up the black areas. I think I'll leave my midtones alone at just one. And right side is your white, and I think we're okay on the right side. I'll leave that one alone as well. So basically, we're just coming in and darkening up our darks just a bit right there. Okay, close that one down. Now let's come down to our guided edit layer. We can show this one again and pull this one above everything else. It's going to hide everything like that. We now need to blend this layer into the other layers. Go up here to blend modes, come down to multiply, and that blends those together. Then we have a little bit of this kind of a grayish modeled effect outside. I want to get rid of that. And for that, we're going to be using another adjustment layer. Go up here to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels. This time, check that checkbox, choose OK. And in here, pull the right side in. This is the white side and just a little bit. And it gets rid of all that mess that was in it. See there, there's kind of a gray, dirty look. Pull it in a little ways and that all goes away. And there we go. Like I said, fast and easy. And I think it gives you a real nice pencil drawing effect. And again, if you are new to Photoshop Elements and you want to have a better handle of all this stuff, then take a look at my complete video training course. I'll put a link for that right at the top of the description where it's easy to find. And that covers everything in the program. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. I'm doing new videos all the time. And I'll see you next time.